Is that a frog inside of this quartz crystal? It sure looks like a frog. It's got all the shapes and markings of a frog. How about this one? Is this a fish? Does this look like a rather forlorn parrotfish, maybe from the island of St. Thomas, stuck inside this quartz crystal? In truth, this is an amazing formation of natural petroleum in quartz crystals. This very amazing and very natural formation comes to us from quartz crystals from Pakistan. The petroleum existed already in a very high silicon hot water environment and as the water cooled and the quartz crystals formed from the silicon in the water, the petroleum of course would not mix with the water, oil and water don't mix, so the petroleum was in the water and as the quartz crystals formed, they simply engulfed and grew and just grew around the petroleum that was in the water and actually engulfed the petroleum which created little cavities inside the quartz crystals and you see what you have here. The interesting thing about these is that the petroleum is highly reactive to fluorescence, to long wave fluorescence. This fluorescent property of the petroleum gives us some very unusual looks at the petroleum when we turn the lights out and look at the petroleum with the fluorescent lights on. Here if we use a higher magnification to be able to see one of the cavities that is full of petroleum, this has been described as looking like a big old worm, a big worm inside this quartz crystal, but actually this is a cavity mostly filled with natural petroleum inside that, and if we turn the lights off, the regular lights off, and turn our fluorescent light on, we can just see how amazing the reaction is. You can see that the cavity inside this quartz crystal is almost completely full of petroleum. There on the right hand side there's a gas bubble in a little area that's not totally full, but other than that it's totally full of petroleum. And if we look from another angle here and kind of come zoom back with the with the camera and with our microscope we can see the beautiful blue colors and it's all, almost a an iridescent color, the blue color, the blue and yellow, but predominantly blue in this particular crystal. But once again, if we turn out the overhead room lights and turn on the fluorescent lights, it's really an amazing formation in here. This is just an astounding photograph. We've actually been asked to to produce a poster of this because of the really amazing results that the the fluorescent petroleum give when we look at it just in the ultraviolet light. But what about our frog? This is actually the crystal that has the frog in it. And as you notice from this, when you're looking at it, it's not anything astounding. It's not particularly clear, certainly not what we've been looking at previously, but there's some very large pockets of petroleum inside this crystal. And what we really were doing was just looking like anybody would inside here. And as we turned it around and started looking different places, lo and behold, here's a frog. And it was kind of strange because we had to hold it just right to get that big gas bubble that makes his eye. That gas bubble will actually move around quite a bit, but if we moved it just right and got it centered just right, we found that uh, indeed that the petroleum inside this quartz crystal formed a very convincing looking frog. This is just one of the amazing gems and minerals that you will find at the amazing Gem and Mineral Museum. If you're here in Helotus or if you're on the website, and you're on the internet, you can visit us either way, but we certainly invite you to visit us at the amazing Gem and Mineral Museum located here in Old Town, Helotus, Texas. We're right outside of San Antonio. The admission is always free, and we look forward to seeing you.